<laughs> the Minnesota Alcoholics Club strikes again. This time one of them calls me and says, Hey, Big Z, can you make me one of these? I guess I'm their huckleberry. Okay, here's everything we're gonna need to make this project. Two by four. I have a one by six piece of pine. I have some L brackets that we're gonna use for decoration and some screws. And if everything plays out right, I have this 3 8 inch dowel of metal steel rod that we're gonna use for decoration. Well, normally I'd take the whole two by four when it was all connected in one long piece and run it through my table saw to get rid of these rounded edges. But I got a little ahead of myself. So what I wanna do is I just wanna take off one of these rounded edges so when it lays against the back panel, it lays flat. If you want to build this project, I have plans available on my Etsy shop. Just check the link in the description below. Now all of my plans have a detailed materials list and full construction details with schematics for each step of the build. Leave a comment below if you purchase the plans. In case you're wondering what size bit this is, this is a one and three eighths inch Forstner bit. Got it from Rockler and that makes this hole right here. Ooh, before I forget, shameless self-promotion. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Appreciate it. Now go be great. Our next step, we're just gonna pull off all the tape here. Before we do any sanding, I just wanna show you this, this miter here, you know what we call that? We call that terrible. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how I fix that. First thing, get a cup of some really fine sawdust. Then you're gonna take a little bit of wood glue, you're gonna put it in these gaps. And then I just take some of that sawdust, pile it on, and just kind of rub it in. Now when I go with this mitered corner here, I know I'm gonna sand a lot of that. So we may have to do this again after we sand, but I kind of want to get as much in there now as I can. And it's gonna be a big gloppy mess. That's all right, don't worry about it. You can see it's all all filled in right there. I'm not worried about the blue tape. I'm gonna sand all that off too. Not a big deal. I just wanted to give you a close-up of what that corner looks like. See it's all flush. This is gonna be mounted to the back anyway. The corner is just rounded over. You'll never notice that with stain on there. It's nice and tight. So we're gonna to torch this bad boy. We're gonna give it a nice rustic look. And I'm not gonna worry so much about the backside that's gonna be mounted, but we wanna get all of this torched. We are going to be using a torch, just like a plumber's torch here. You wanna make sure you have a nice fire extinguisher, make sure it's full and that it's up to date because if you're in a shop, you wanna make sure any fires, let alone when you're doing this, anytime you wanna be able to put them out. I also keep a spray bottle full with water just so if a little fire does start, I can just quick spray, boom, done. So we'll turn this on if you've never used one of these before. This little knob on the back right here. You just take that, turn it to open it all the way. And you just squeeze the trigger. There's a little silver knob right on the top here. And that's like a hold. So once this is pushed down, I can push the silver knob, keeps the trigger going. All right. Now, 
how much you torch your wood is always a the great debate. I want to, I'm going to end up sanding this a little bit and scrubbing it down, but it's going to look nice. I don't like some people like to burn it so much. You know that shoshugi band. They want to have ridges. I'm not going for that look. I just want it to be nice and dark. Our next step is to make a backer board that goes across the back of this piece. So here's the board we just cut down to 29 inches and that we just ripped in half. And the fun thing I want to do is I want to take this metal rod, cut it into little sections and have those in between here as more of a little decorative piece. Details make the piece. So three of these will be added in and then these end up sitting right on top of there. It's gonna look pretty cool. We're gonna shishigi man these too. It's gonna look nice when it's done. Next we'll cut some metal rods and epoxy them in. I forgot about the back pieces. I need to flame those up too and scorch them. So let's do that real quick. Before we do any gluing up, I'm just going to show you the wire brush I like to use. It's just a brass wire brush. Get any big box store, nice handle. And I'm just going to try and get all the loose char off of this and make it look nice. I spray painted them the color I wanted because I didn't want bright silver. I don't want them to be really easy to see. I just want to be a nice little decorative piece in the background. So I'm going to epoxy them in. There we go. It's just Loctite epoxy. It's a one minute instant bond epoxy, so we're going to have to be quick. So let's get the show on the road. So yeah, this is where these pegs will go in these holes here. And I'll stick them in the holes on that side. I'll use these two pieces as spacers. So that way there's an even space all the way across. And then when we're done with that, this will get laid on top and it'll be awesome. All right, our next step is to take this backer board and mount our Z bracket to it. So we want this to mount on here. Now, important, this outside, this in, well, I guess you call this the outside corner matches up here. So you have a little bit of overhang. And then down here, we're gonna do the same thing and match this over. So you can see my finger hangs under this part right here. So it should hang over on yours a little bit. And this bottom corner matches up to the edge and this top corner matches up to the edge. And the gap that we should have here should be half an inch unless I'm terrible at math. Oh yeah, terrible at math. Anyway, we're just gonna make it an inch. Line it up, Let's see how that works. I'm okay with having a little extra at the top. Yep, one inch is gonna work on this. I must have made this board a little longer and not paid any attention to it. But that's how it's gonna look. We're just gonna screw it from the back side in and we're gonna use number 10, two and a half inch screws to make that happen. And I'm just gonna drill a hole right in the center. Uh, 
that's been set a little bit, that's perfect. Then we'll come down here to the other end, we'll line up that corner and that edge. And see right here is where we wanna line this up. So it sits right on that edge perfectly. And here's that screw. You can see it sits nice and flush, a little bit inset. You can see this corner is lined up perfect. So let's drill some more holes here, make this happen. There you can see we are just about done with this guy. General finishes, high performance, gloss, water-based. There you go, glare, but yeah, you get the idea. Time to put on the D-rings, and I'm just going to put one on each here, right in the center, right here on the edge of this. All right, so that's the back little D-ring hangers. I really like using these, and I want to use these as decorations on these corner spots here, just for something nice and something different. So I'm gonna line up one of them towards the middle, use a little rubber mallet, I'm just gonna use one, something real heavy, just kinda tack those in. So there it is so far, we'll get you some better pictures here shortly. All right. Now don't forget to grab a set of plans from my Etsy shop. The link is down in the description. And be sure to leave a comment here letting me know that you purchased the plans. Let me know what you think of the quality. Thanks for watching. Go be great.